What is going on everybody and welcome back to Mad Detailing. Today's video is on this 1987 Ford Mustang. As you guys can see, this car has been sitting for a very long time. The owners actually owned this car for about 19 years now and it sat for pretty much, I'm not gonna say all of it, but a good five or six years, which is strange because the car runs and drives perfectly fine. But in today's video, we are going to be transforming this car back to its factory condition. So if you guys are new to this channel, make sure you guys like and subscribe. I post brand new videos every Thursday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But with that being said, we're going to go ahead and roll these before shots and get right into this Ford Mustang detail. Moving on to cleaning the wheels, I'm using my Extreme APC on the tires and fender wells. And for the wheels, I'm using my Mad Detailing Iron Eraser on multiple different brushes so I can make sure I get every inch of this wheel and tire 100% clean. So I wish I had an update for you guys on the shop progress, but it is absolutely the same. We're still waiting for the city to give us one last paper. Like all this was approved, but the way we have to do it now is just a tiny bit different. But yeah, honestly, I'm getting kind of annoyed because I haven't detailed a car in like a month and like, I don't know, it's just, it's super stressful. So I just wanna thank you guys for being patient and all of this should be resolved very soon. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and we'll be back very soon. Before I can move on to any type of contact wash, I need to get all this dirt and grime removed. So for this, I'm using my Extreme APC diluted 10 to 1. You could use an APC or you could use a some type of snow foam. I honestly just like using the APC. It works a lot better and it's a lot cheaper in my opinion. But yeah.
on to a contact wash we are now filming the vehicle down with our foam cannon and our mad detailing super blue soap and then we are going to move on to giving this vehicle a nice hand wash with a soft microfiber wash mitt So what I'm using now is our mad detailing iron eraser and that's going to loosen and remove all the iron buildup that is inside of this clear coat and as you guys will see in a second there is a lot of it. Moving on to cleaning these seats, since this is the original factory seat and they are red and they do tend to fade a lot, I'm going at this with a different approach. As you guys see, I sprayed it with the extractor first and I got it soaking wet, not soaking wet, but pretty much damp. And now for the cleaner, I'm using my mad detailing leather cleaner. And the reason for that is actually a multi-purpose cleaner that can be used on any types of surfaces and it is super delicate but super powerful at the same time and the reason why i sprayed it with water first because i want to have as much lubrication on the seat as possible because if not when you're using the drill brush it creates a lot of heat and a lot of friction and i did not want it to tear up the seats and also i'm using the white drill brush instead of the green one it's a lot softer and for the extractor i'm using my mighty hp60 hot water extractor
Moving on to cleaning the interior panels of this car, I'm using my Mad Detailing Leather Cleaner again, just because like I said before, it is a super safe formula in all types of materials. And I'm gonna follow that up with a detail brush and then I'm using the steamer very, very lightly. And I can't express this enough. If you're doing an antique vehicle and you have and you don't have a lot of experience with a steamer, I would honestly recommend staying away from it. It is super, and I mean super easy to burn plastics and fade plastics especially on an old antique car like this you really have to be careful and honestly that goes for you know anything with an antique car like you can't just approach it like any other vehicle and just go ham with the apc and all the types of brushes and just smash panels around because everything is super fragile and it will crack and it will break and you will have to replace it so yeah anytime you guys are working on an antique car whether it's your own or a customer vehicle or if you're a detailer please 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 be careful because stuff can happen and i would rather just <laughs> you guys be careful and and to learn the right way and the right proper techniques instead of just going ham and having to call your insurance and say hey i messed up a customer's car but either way yeah just be safe when you're working on antique vehicles
could do any type of paint correction or polishing, I need to clay bar the entire car. And for this, I'm using my mad detailing clay lube and a synthetic clay bar. As you guys can see, the hood has some extreme water spots and oxidation along with very deep scratches. So moving on to the paint correction, I'm using my Rupes 21 polisher, a microfiber cutting pad, and Sonex Ultimate Cut. And as you guys will see, it gives some amazing results. And one thing that I didn't film, but I always do, after every single pass, I blow my pad out with compressed air. And the reason why you want to do that is because the compound and paint residue will get stuck up in there and your pad will no longer cut and you will not get the performance out of it that you were getting previously. So yeah, and honestly, after every two or three panels, I switch my pad out. So anytime you guys are doing paint corrections, you wanna make sure you have compressed air and a bunch of clean pads handy.
Looks good, man. That original paint didn't shine like that, but it was new. How long have you owned this car? I've had this car 19 years. 19? I bought it from the original owner. 41,000 miles. Hardly used. Ready for a new top. I can't believe the top actually came out though. No, besides, besides the ribs? Yeah. I am very surprised how clean the top came. But we're putting a new one on there. Yeah, I figured. We'll trim out the black a little bit. Fix that pinstripe, we're good to go. Vanilla ice style. Huh? Vanilla ice style. <laughs> Dude, that looks good. Really, really nice. 